everybody, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I just noticed that the Honest trailer for Civil War just came out, so let's watch it. You've seen them fight as hero versus hero. You've seen them fight as friend versus friend. Yeah. Now, the greatest threat to the Avengers is... It's gonna be themselves again, isn't it? <laughs> yep. That's what happens when your villains kinda suck. Captain <laughs> America. Civil War. Loosely based on the comic book crossover event comes the epic struggle that has your favorite heroes asking, is it better to be dickishly stubborn? If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Or stubbornly dickish. <laughs> I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. In a film that settles a moral and political debate, the only way superheroes know how by beating the crap out of each other. Take that regulatory oversight. The government wants to rein in the Avengers for when they recklessly save the entire world from aliens. That other time when they save the entire world from a secret Nazi death cult. And again, save the entire world from the army of murder robots they created. <laughs> okay, that one is on them. Yeah. Okay. My fault. Now, Captain America must get in line or face the prospect of an all-out civil war. Or at least one group sparring session. <laughs> Pulling your punches. One real fight. And a nice letter reminding us that everything is still hunky-dory. Tony, if you need me, I'll be there. <laughs> what? You thought there'd be lasting stakes? Come on, this is Marvel we're talking about. Cat yeah, is back, true. and he's still a total beefcake, leading a team of rebels alongside his quippy black best friend. Cause you gonna have to go Mark Furman on my ass. Hawkeye, who's great in small doses. Ant-Man, yeah, who's recording. there. Scarlet Witch, who's still doing vague hand wavy stuff. I'm and making Bucky, a video. The man whose haircut was frozen in the 90s. Opposing them is Team Iron Man, his quippy black best friend. Yes, this is, this is Tony Stank. Black Widow, who's still scissoring anyone she can get her legs around. <laughs> Black Panther, the king of giving monologues into the middle distance. Dead. It's not the end. The mantle passed from warrior to warrior. <laughs> middle distance. I can help one of them find peace. Whatever the hell vision is. You know I don't know what this is. Yeah, neither do we, buddy. And the best version of Spider-Man, complete with a pre-murdered Uncle Ben. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter. Tony. What? If Tony gives him the great power, great responsibility speech, I am so out of here. Thrill as these former friends become enemies thanks to the evil Zemo. A man out for revenge by framing the Winter Soldier for the murder of King T'Chaka, which will... Uh, hold on, I forgot. Can we roll Zemo's plan again? Uh-huh, yeah. Rex's car? Really? <laughs> Stealing a book? Okay. Yeah, Zemo was the Not one. Sure that sink, though. Kind of. Okay, that makes sense. Less. There's been no great way he part of the movie. Really show up. Wait, so he called the maid from Russia? Ah, the old captured on purpose ploy. Someone's been reading Loki's plan. <laughs> Ugh, this is dumber than Luther's. Yeah. Not great uh, can we just play the airport scene again? Ah, oh, that's so cool. He was like the size of an ant. Now he's a giant. Experience a film that's more than just mindless action. It's also about love. Watch Tony Stark deal with the heartbreak of dating someone whose contract expired after Iron Man 3. <laughs> the weird flirtation of this weird British Christmas robot and this weird witch who puts him in the friend hole. <laughs> and the greatest love story of all, as Steve Rogers once again pines for the plums of the man that only he and Tumblr really care about <laughs> as he tries to redeem this brainwashed killer caveman for the second movie in a row. I don't know if I'm worth all this, Steve. While ignoring two perfectly good boyfriends who are right there in front of his face. <laughs> Need you, Cap. And now he has to go on the run before he can seal the deal with Peggy Carter's niece? <laughs> 90 years old and this guy is still a virgin? So please <laughs> have sex with Captain America already. Hell, you know what? I'll do it. I'll bend over right now. <laughs> So go enjoy the hero versus hero movie that everyone loved, instead of the hero versus hero movie that most everyone hated, even though they're a lot more similar than anyone would like to admit. Yeah. Featuring a non-superpowered villain, tricking a symbol of America into fighting a billionaire playboy, using an incoherent plan that includes blowing up a meeting of government officials, and using the hero's moms to manipulate You know, them. I never even thought about it like that. That's really interesting. I don't care. He killed me. That ends with an ominous warning from a prison cell and sets up a universe worth of spin offs along the way. Uh oh. 
Cue the airport scene again. Oh, come on! Oh, that's better. Starring Barnes & Noble, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Jr., Meh Lissandra, Awesome O, Jeremy Agenor, <laughs> Put a Bird on It, Walkie Road, The Spectacular Sony Man, <laughs> Tahala, Womb Raider, Another Blue Marvel Villain, You know, cause he's sad, Brian Fantanta, and Giant Location, Headers, Vienna, Queens, 1991, Cleveland. Wait, there's no reason to get that excited about Cleveland. Captain America 3, Avengers 2.5. Yeah, that's Boy, true. that escalated quickly. That's you, right? So how did Tony know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man? Would he just break into every teenage boy's bedroom in New York until he got lucky? Oh wait, hang on. That sounded really bad. You've seen him in action. Now, learn what his team really thinks of him. Steve has opened my hole so much Thor can use it as a portal to Asgard. <laughs> if I really want to f a 94 year old, I could just f Stan Lee. <gasps> yeah, that's the guy who really knows how to f you. Just ask Jack Kirby. Ooh. Can't wait for the next move when you try to do that head scissor thing to Thanos and he just throws you into the f***ing sun. He's <laughs> dead that you love. Gross. Screen Junkies presents what? The of Captain America. Oh, this America. is gonna be good. Watch now. Ah, uh, it's only on the I don't subscribe. I'm the now. captain now. <laughs> Does anyone? Okay, I kind of want to see that roast, but I don't want to pay for Screen Junkies Plus. But anyways, yeah, most of the things that they were saying were definitely right on the head. I agreed with a lot, but of course, without a doubt, Civil War is for me still the greatest movie. Yeah, it's. For me, because everyone's different, it's all subjective, this is the best movie of the summer for me. Um, and so far, the best movie of the year, in my humble opinion. On my own opinion. Honest opinion. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, let me know what you think about this on this trailer in the comments below. If this is your first time watching me, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And you can also subscribe, you can also check out my Patreon page and support me there. I would appreciate it. So anyways, this is... Um, so yeah, this was my reaction to the Civil War on his trailer. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.